right. Well, basically, like I said, dice rolling gang, pretty much the name of the game is Victory Points. Uh, you can see on the board there's a ton of, ton of different resources and stuff and all that. There's gold and goats. Which? I love goats. <laughs> yes, goats are good. Uh, you can actually spend those, and we're just sending them off to a friendly farm where they're happy. We're not killing them. Just the friendly farm, the good kind of farm. Only the good kind. And we're building buildings, which will give you different effects, victory points and all that. So the essentially what it is is the first player, they roll the die, and you populate the board here in order with the die. So ones will go there, twos, you've got a three there, fours, and then the fives will go here. Now, if, say, we didn't have, didn't have any twos and we just rolled that, all these would scoot down. So there is a chance that you will not get a category. And is it, there are sixes on there, so what's, uh, what's up with the sixes? Do they go on this top category here? Yep, the sixes will always go in the gold, because gold is important. Gold is good. Gold and goats are good. Yes. So, uh, for simplicity's sake, I'll, go, I'll say I'm first player, and I'm going to go ahead and take this top category right here. So, I will go to this one right here and mark off two resources, because there's two die. And I'm going to go with this one right here, which gets me five victory points right there. Okie dokie. So, just to recap, what you did there was you took the uh, orange the orange color does that and that meant that you had to cross something off on the orange color the corresponding color and picture on your picture a uh, piece right. of paper in front of you okay so it's a roll and write game yeah that's what it is or well, technically okay so, so do you want to tell the people at home a little bit about roll and write games yeah of course so one thing i will say is if you guys at home ever want a close-up of the board just give us a shout in the chat and we will whoop zoom back here zoom on over and uh give you a zoom in. Uh, so roll and write games means that you roll all the dice and then you have a little sheet. So the sheet, depending on the game, can be completely, completely different, but you can really do whatever you need. And you cross things off on the sheet, or sometimes you draw on the sheet um, to score points. People, and people want the, the close-up. Could we get a little close-up of the board? Good friend Aaron on the camera. Thank you. Okay, so what's happening here is uh, we roll some dice. Whatever they land on, we put sixes, five, four, three, two, one. If there were no threes, everything would scoot on down. Uh, when you take dice, uh, as our good friend Zach here has, uh, you get to cross off as many dice, uh, as many resources as you have dice. Uh, he took from the orange sassy Cleopatra-looking lady. So he went to his sassy-looking Cleopatra lady on his paper and crossed off two resources here. Um, and so what's the aim of the game again? Remind me. It's all about victory points. Most victory points at the end wins. And victory points we gather by crossing these things off. So you crossed that off and that got you five victory points. All right, well, that makes sense. Uh, do we have pens? We have pens. I've got a pen. We're sharing pens. Perfect. Oh, hello. AspidayNorthAmerica.com. Oh, branded. branded pen. Love nice. it. Um, cool. Uh, oh, Adrian is going to join us at 12. Um, nice. Well, that might be too late. It might be. We might, we might just have a passing high and oh. say whether we liked Corinth or whether we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we'll like it. Hopefully. Um, awkward if we don't. Yeah. Um, so, we'll say hi. Well, He's yeah. a good chap. So. Well, I mean, after this, we're just going to go for a little walk around and see the show. Uh, yeah. We've already had a few requests in to take a look at some board games. Um, if there are any board games you want us to look at, uh, pop it in the chat. We're going to try and remember. You've asked for a lot of games already, though. So as we walk around, if you see something, um, say, hey, stop. And then 10 to 12 seconds later, we will stop, <laughs> <laughs> depending on the yeah. delay. I mean, you can also just repeatedly nag us, um, which do. seems to be the way that most things happen in this world. So, yeah, just, just spam us with requests. Yeah, let us um, know. And I haven't forgotten that, Abby, you owe the chat a handstand at some point today. We're going to um, go outside and do this because it is dangerous to do that in the yeah. hall. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, just to recap for everyone at home, so we are at Gen Con, which is the US's largest board game convention. We're here for four days. We're going to play loads of different board games. Uh, right now, we're playing Corinth by Days of Wonder. Um, but stay tuned. There's lots more to come. So, let's go and see. Someone says, his MG says his mic does not work. <gasps> oh. Oh, no, hang on. It's because he's on the right side. So, if you're, if you're listening with maybe one head, uh, earphone in, then that might be why. 
if you're listening with just one earphone in and it's the right earphone i think that's how this is working okay Uh, it's tech i'm not really sure how it happens we just press go and we're like hey um that's not how it says where is this convention being held it's in indianapolis in indiana um and as I've already said, uh, I'm going to keep you guys up to date on how I'm doing with uh, vegan eating and vegan life because at these conventions, and it's not just uh, Gen Con, it's also Spiel in Essen, Germany, uh, not so good for the vegan food. Um, if, in case people at home don't know, vegan, vegan life is uh, no <laughs> dairy, no eggs, no cheese, no butter. I thought you were going to say vegan life is very hard. No meat. <laughs> it is right now. But it is right now, yeah. I mean, I didn't have a hot meal the entire time we were at Spiel. Oh. <laughs> You'll be fine. It's I'm fine. I'm fine. I had some muesli. We'll get you like a pot noodle or something. Um, yeah. Okay, so should we, should we get some dice to roll and, and see how we do in Corinth? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so. Oh, Jutan123 says, I love sweet potatoes. Me too. <laughs> Super shiny dude says, broccoli. Yes. <laughs> really? Okie dokie. <laughs> Someone said vegetables, and Abby's like, oh. I love vegetables. Oh, that's Sorry. Nice food. Okay, so we're here in Corinth. So run us through how a turn works. So basically the whole turn is just ta- taking turns. The first player will roll the die. We populate the die on the board. And then every- one time every person will go through and take a set of die and do the corresponding section with the amount of die they have. Okay, awesome. So if we could get a close-up, um, we'll get you to have your first turn. Oh, he's already just... had his turn. Oh, you've already had you your turn. You missed it. I don't oh, know I what you it. were doing. <laughs> oh, I was probably just thinking about water, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, so you've taken those two fives, and you've crossed off. Yep, so I took these two from this section right here. So they're in the yellow section, uh, as Abby mentioned, the sassy Egyptian lady. Cleopatra, I'm calling her. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I took that. I have two die, so I get to cross out two... Uh, building materials, resources, wherever you want to call them, of that section. So I crossed out those two, which gave me this five-point victory right there. Awesome. So then next turn, I guess, would be me. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take something from the board. So I'm new here. I quite like the look of the dude with the really big sleeves. Um, They are magical. Oh, Oh, he's carrying a carpet. Let's give, give let's give you a close up. Um, he's on the, he's on here, so I'll, I'll bring it to you, Twitch. Uh, thought it was a big sleeve. Turns out it's not. It's just a carpet that's the same color as his outfit. I mean, maybe he made his outfit out of the carpet. I don't know. I don't know his life. Um, so I want to take some of these. So do I take one or do I take all three? Take all. All three. So I've now got three fours, and it goes over, I think, into the blue section. Yes. And what do I do now? So now you have three die, so you can cross out three resources. Any any one of these you can you can, any one of these you can cross out from. So if you're going for that big eight point vi- victory right there, you can cross out three from right there, and you only need one more to get the eight eight points. Oh, that sounds amazing! I'm going to do that. <laughs> eight points is a lot of points. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and hope that I get another wood sometime soon. Okay. It's my turn, and I'm going to throw it over to Twitch. Uh, Twitch, if we could get a little close-up of the board, uh, I am going to throw it over to you. So, I mean, there are some points that could to be had here, but I want to know, do you want me to take this singular three from uh, this jolly-looking chap here, uh, the two twos from the lady who, I don't know, maybe looks a little bit like me if I did like a ponytail kind of thing, I don't know. Or do I take the one from this very happy-looking little goat? Look at the goat. <laughs> the goat so is happy. Cute. It well, will give you one goat. I get a goat. Is that good? I don't know, of course it's a, of course it's good. It's a <laughs> it's goat. Not a question. Okay. So while you guys are deciding, I want to cover a few things that have been said in the chat. Uh, Forty six and two. Hi. No, this is not our first time in Indy. We were here last year for Gen Con. Uh, Chris. Yes, there is probably a lot of Dungeons and Dragons happening. Oh yes. We so will much. go and check that out for you. Mm. Um, Jutan one two three says being vegan is great. After being on a vegan diet for one month, I lost my desire for chocolate. Who are you? <laughs> I still eat chocolate all the time. Oh, I'm sad for you. I actually have it favorited on my phone what uh, vegan chocolate no 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 all the vegan snacks that i can eat all the vegan junk food oh, oh yeah i'm one of those vegans that totally cheats and doesn't do healthy lifestyle <laughs> <laughs> um and oh it's a resounding goat people want me to take the goat. i don't know why you expected any free other goat, result free goat uh, <laughs> uh yeah no every everyone's pretty much saying goat 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 uh okay well it's gonna be the goat i'm gonna take the one 
So I, what do I do with this? Where does this go on my board? Circle that goat right there. Circle it. So I get two points per goat? Yep, at the end. Okay. Now you can spend those. So now that you've taken that, mm. you get a free... Now that you've taken that, you get a free buy action. So you can buy one of these buildings if you have enough mm -hmm. resources to do so. So this building right here, that means every time you get gold from the board, you get two extra. So you can spend those two goats and send them off to the happy farm and get that building right there if you want. But then I lose my goats. Yes. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm going to keep the goats for now. I'll let you, uh, you play. You play your game. You play. I'm going to keep the goats. Okay. <laughs> so it's back over to you. Uh, so if we get another close-up of the options. Uh, so what's your turn going to be? So now, this is only for a two- and three-player uh, game. But in a two- and three-player game, the first player gets a second go around on the same round of dice. Now, if we were doing four, four players, then it would just be one per person. So, with this one, I'm going to go ahead... Actually, I'm going to take this guy right here. But, I don't really want the purple. So, I'm going to take this and go on a little journey with my little traveler here. So, and you can do this with any, any of the dice at any point. And I'm going to take this traveler, and since it's a three, I'm going to go three spaces. So you start in the center here, and I'm going to go over here, two, and three. I'm going to land on this and circle this. What this is, this is a permanent uh, buff, I guess. Whenever I would roll dice at the start of a turn, I get one yellow die for free. Ooh. And yellow dice are good. They just add an, another die for a poss possibility that, that you get, and it's an, a one-time bonus for you. Ooh, only. okay, okay. So nice. you can choose when to use that. Whenever I roll. Whenever you roll. And we take it in turns to roll, or...? Yes, the okay. first player every turn, every round rolls. Yeah, okay. Okay, so is it, is it my go now? It is your go. Oh. oh. Now it's a new round. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh because the... Oh, <laughs> none for Gretchen Wieners. <laughs> okay. But... Here's, here's, here's the good thing. You are the first player now. I am the first player. So you get to roll all those die. Oh, that's, oh, that's a lot of die. That's six die. Well, these as well. Oh, that's nine dice. Counting with Dave. <laughs> so, let's give it a roll. Uh, it's, it's quite difficult with one hand, and there's quite a lot. Shake gonna... it like a Polaroid picture. Oh, 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 oh. you shook too hard. You I'm did sorry. the wrong thing. I let you. I had one job. Our cameraman's trying to oh, pick it up. Wow. Is he doing it? Is he doing it? Hey! Hey, what a catch. Nice. That was good. <laughs> I'm gonna, I want a recap of that. Uh, okay, so, I'm going to okay. roll all the dice. While you're taking your Ooh. turn, I'm going to explain to Gokota, who has just joined us, what we're playing and what's going on here. So, we are at Gen Con, which is uh, the US's largest tabletop games convention. We are here for four days, playing games, taking names. Not really. We're just playing the games. Uh, so we're going to uh, be go walking around the show. If there's anything you want to see, we can uh, we can certainly make it happen. We can go there. Currently, we're playing Corinth by Days of Wonder, which is a roll and write game. Um, roll and write, for those of you that don't know, is exactly what it says. You roll the dice, and then you have a bunch of options on here uh, that are corresponding to the numbers of dice that you have. Uh, you pick a dice, and the aim is to have the most points at the end. So really, you want to be crossing off a lot of things as you go. Yeah, it seems like, it seems like there's a lot on the score sheet, but it's actually pretty simple. So what we're trying to do, um, by holding uh, lots of things in one hand, is, <laughs> is by completing these sets of resources here. And when we complete these sets, we get the points that are listed at the top. And then you can also go on a little journey with a traveler and wander around and stop on different things. And I haven't... And Abby's collecting goats down here uh, that she gets points at the end. And all these other things also give you points as well. So we've just rolled the dice, and it's generated all of these different options for us. I'm the first player. I'm going to pick what I do. Um, can we get a little close-up? I would just like to show you at home how many goats there are on this board. Four goats. Look at that. I, I don't think there's any other option that I can take. I think you've got to take the goats. Right. Um Teetrin uh, has come up with the best analogy for this game. Mm. It's Yahtzee turned up to 11. Oh my god, extra Yahtzee. <laughs> extra yeah. sassy Yahtzee. Yeah. Okay. Sassy because it's got a sassy couple of ladies on the front here. 
Hey. Loving Cleopatra and the woman that could be me with a ponytail. My, oh, hello. My Ariana Grande look. Oh, so you mean Ariana Vente? Yes. All right. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and even the goat is on the front of the box. Everything's perfect here. So I've just picked up four goats. Um, via the medium of imagination and I'm going to circle them on my sheet so I go one two three four and I get points at the end of the game for those goats and that's my turn so over to over you over to me uh, I just want to say a quick goodbye to Jutan123 who's got to go bye we hope to see you back over the next four days um, oh so peanut butter zero says go team vegan yes always um and King Me Please says, if you are close to the Days of Wonder booth, is the 15th anniversary ticket to ride game there for sale or demo? Now, <laughs> are let we me close tell you, to friends, the Days of Wonder booth? We are on the Days of Wonder booth. Look. Cameraman Aaron, please show our friends. We're on the Days Whoa. of Wonder booth. <laughs> 15th anniversary. You know what? We'll go and have a look around after we're done with Corinth. Yeah. And um, we'll see if we can we're find gonna it. We're going to go for a little wonder once in about five minutes. Uh, so, well finish up this round and then we'll we'll go and look for you yeah, so I've, stay tuned I've you got my goats go. I'm, I'm done it's over to you now I'm really upset because I wanted the goats who doesn't I don't think it's a good tactical decision but I wanted <laughs> I wanted them anyway um, now listen Twitch chat what do you think so let's I, have a look at what we've got uh, let's have a little look see now I, I know that gold is good gold is always good it's worth points um, this man has carpets which is fun or big sleeves. Or big sleeves. <laughs> this man has a vase. This lady is super cool. I'm loving her look. I feel like you're biased. I'm Maybe really biased because she looks like me. Okay. I would like to take the two, but I want to know what Twitch chat uh, want me to do. So do I take the two, the three, the four, or the six? Do I go for gold or do I... The gold has just... an owl on it, you know. All it's right. the little details that are sassy. All right. I could take... <laughs> you're like, all right, I've made my I decision, but all right. Oh, Mr. B... <laughs> Oh, Miss MG, the goat is not an option. Devo took all the goats. I took four goats in one turn. What a turn. Oh, uh, well, t Trin says take the two as it looks like you. Um, but a lot of people, Egg Ball Ray is saying go for gold. Uh, Chris go for says gold. gold or goat. And the first person in the chat to mention anything was Mr. Big Pill, who says take the six. I think I'm going to have to go for gold, people. Go for gold. I've got it. I've gone for gold. So you take it and so then you win. circle it on your little sheet and you get points at the end of the game. Points for Abby. Golden goats. I'm building my business on gold and goats. <laughs> there we go. So we've got one more turn left in the... Two more turns left in the round because I get an extra one because I'm the first player. Ooh. Okay. So what are you going to do? Well, let's see here. I think I'm going to take the three. And I think I'm going to take my man on a little bit of a journey now again. Absolutely. So, I took three. So I'm going to move my guy three spaces. So I'm going to move him one and two. And I'm going to go three. I'm going to circle this space right here. This space is special. It gives you vi victory points. So if you land, land on this space, you count all of the spaces that you've circled along your journey. So in my case, it's only two. But then I get that many victory points for that space. That's awesome. I love the little walk around mechanic because you can kind of go any route you want, and I'm into that. It reminds me of like um, skill trees from like World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy and that kind of thing. So, I wasn't listening, but someone said World of Warcraft. Oh hey! <laughs> and I popped up. You're like Alliance. <laughs> You're super excited for the um, the classic servers coming out later. I on am. You. I I played from the beta test uh, World of Warcraft, um, mm. so I'm really. I don't want to be hipster about it, but I, I love the old school. <laughs> You're like, don't want to be hipster, when, but tote Sam. If anyone in the chat knows what I'm talking about, hit me up. Uh, I loved it when uh, you had to run from the top end of Stranglethorn Vale when you died all the way back down. Or was it the opposite way around? I think you had to run from the bottom. There was a graveyard at the bottom. Mm. And if you were doing quests at the top, you had to run. And it was long. It took about 10 minutes. And you're like... Really, is this what I'm doing with my life? Mm. <laughs> yeah. I remember that I, I played as a priest, and we were doing a raid inside a volcano, oh. and uh, I got distracted and uh, just kind of just kind of went on a wander, and everyone got really angry at me because I wasn't healing them. You Leroy Jenkins did. Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, I'm a nightmare in parties. Uh, so, okay. we've got a little journey. That's awesome. Now, I get one more turn. So, there are only two things left that I can do. So, I can <laughs> go to the man with the big sleeves slash carpet here. I'm pretty sure it is indeed a carpet. Or I can go and take Abby with the two twos. Um, so, you know what? I'm going to put it to the Twitch chat once, once more, one more time. Um, so should I go number... Uh, 
four or number two? Um, it depends, really. If you want to just leave Abby behind, um, no, uh, just, and just and just not use not use Abby. Um, I don't know how. I don't Everyone know how you is feel just saying chat. goats. <laughs> I think they're trolling you. Goats, 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 goats. Goats, goats. There are no goats. Uh, I took all the goats at the beginning of the round, um, which is good for me because I love a good goat. Oh, call me Reddit's name. Uh, says Mr. Carpet Hands. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, okay. I think that's what he shall forever be known as. Yeah, Mr. Carpet Hands. Mr. Carpet Hands. All right, I'll take the four. So. I get it. Uh, it comes comes with me, and then I go over to my little resource shindig, and I get to cross off one resource that's over here. Now, in the round before, I actually got to cross off three different resources in this little chunk here. Now I've got one four, so I get to cross off one more. Boom! I've completed this set of resources, which gets me eight points. Ah, amazing! Uh, and I think we're going to recap it there. So, should we add up all our points? I think so. Awesome. <laughs> I've got goats. What does this get me? <laughs> <laughs> so I get two points for every goat. Is that correct? Every two goats gets you one point. Oh, so it's like oh. a quarter is good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this, <space. laughs> this is where being vegan gets you. Oh. <laughs> uh, but I do get... Oh, no. Every two gold gets me one point. One, po one point. One singular point. Wow. <gasps> look, drinks have arrived. Oh, you're the best. Robin. Oh, my God. Robin look at is this. fantastic. Recyclable cup. Look at this cup. And we're saving the world. Oh, you are the best. Oh, Robin, you're such a babe. Thank you. Um, great. So uh, <laughs> I've got two whole points is what I've got. So I've added up all mine. I've got the grand total of deep bois, 10 points. I've got eight points from the wood, which was very lucky that I did that. And then I've got two points from the goat. Uh, I left one goat behind because he's not an even number and he, he doesn't score me points. So, adios to you. But ten points in total. Uh, call me Reddit's name is saying Robin is the real MVP here. Shout out to you, Robin. Uh, you'll be seeing Robin a lot throughout the whole show, I'm sure, as she slowly brings us snacks and water. Because and, it's just you and me. Just you and I. Yeah, you and it. I. This is, this is the dream team. <laughs> dream team right here. We did have other people. Aurelian was here, but he's run off. Oh, no, he's there. He's just talking to someone. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, he's having a nap. We'll get him back okay. later. Um, cool. so and Geek Girl Bookworm says it has the dragon on it. They need it. Oh, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> uh, so, how many points did you get? Looks like I got seven. So, David, I think that makes you the winner. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Goat Master. Hey. Wait, how did you all get so many points? We only played two rounds. How did I only get two points? I don't know, Abby. I don't know how you managed that. That, was, hmm. that wasn't very well done. I got goats and a load of wood. I, I like this game because I won. Yeah, <laughs> of course you do. Yeah. So, and, uh, yeah, we'll uh, leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. So, <laughs> recap for the guys at home. We've just been playing Corinth by Days of Wonder. Um, it is available now, so you can go check it out um, at your local game store or just give it a Google and it'll appear up uh, on Amazon or somewhere like that. Um, a little roll and write game, really simple, really fun. I've had a blast, thank you.